Hello one and all, this is Luckless Love Locks, and I'm finally starting Dave the Diver, and it's an exciting day, because the day I'm recording this, they released a free Dredge DLC pack, which you guys can play as well. So we'll have some new content to experience together. This is pretty much me. Oh, going for the crotch. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this, guys. I've been, this is one of the best games of the year and I've been wanting to play it for a long time. And you guys keep recommending it to me too. Fighting us out for sushi, I think. What a lovely little intro. So wait, did we get on a plane just to be with that dude to have some sushi? Is that... Is that what's going on there? Hello. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Cobra. Mm -hmm. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. Oh, I see. We were coming back to work. That must be the sushi place there. So where's the sushi at? Haha, <laughs> don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. Never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we could discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the blue hole. So a little tutorial action. Now, for those of you that are familiar with this game, do you guys usually play using mouse and keyboard or do you use a controller? I was thinking mouse and keyboard would be, would be better. Nice form! <laughs> All right, how about uh, try stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With left shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Oh, wow, it speeds it up quite a bit. Okay. So maybe just used for an emergency. Good! Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as the freshwater snail. So now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife with small fish. Use the left mouse button. Oh, I couldn't quite hit them. Well done, smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? Harpoon, well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then... Hmm. Uh, looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Oh. Aim with the rice, right, rice mouth button and fire with life, life mouse button. Now try it yourself. And do I need to reel it in? Or is this just doing it automatically? Clownfish. Blue tag. I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Easy enough. That's the whole game. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure. That's soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh, man, that's just the best. Oh, uh, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef. Left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It's right here that I started a restaurant. My friend that sells one of a kind sushi. Sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Oh, yum, I'm already craving it. <laughs> I bet so. Why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. 
Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Just to... Okay. We can just decline as it just came over. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. <laughs> I can't shift to go faster. Not in? This is like not in 68? What does that mean? Hey, Banco. Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You? Uh... You are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bonko. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Mmm. Just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. Symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. How empty life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. That's not a good sign. Uh, uh, an earthquake? Hmm. The interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Owen, the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Huh? Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You'll need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Pushy guy. Seems Bonko is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Bonko so enthusiastic since the incident. Nice to see him like this. The incident. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Prepare Bonko sushi. So we need to make 100 gold. Prepare sushi ingredients, catch seven fish. Okay. Seems easy enough. Can it just be any fish? It's a really nice looking game, eh? Blue Tang, rank one, two stars. Seem like teeny tiny ones. Ooh, what are these? Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. Rainbow Rossi. What's this? Let's try to get to catch different ones. Salima something? So, can I like, oh, hello. Kajime, edible marine brown algae species with a round. You know what? I'm just gonna grab this. We'll read about it later. What happens if I touch this? Oh damn! Oh, 
Ah, fried egg jellyfish. What's that? Please. Oh, okay, you can't aim straight down. Can't seem to catch that one. Oh, it hurts! I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. Uh, okay, we need an upgrade. No, that looks like a seahorse. Orbicular batfish. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Ah, yellowback fusilier. All right, 54 oxygen. Should I go down deeper? Can you find something like more intense down here? Yeah, look at these guys. Why couldn't I grab him? Do I need a uh, another? Okay, okay, okay. Mediterranean parrotfish. I assume I can sell these. Just little guys, cardinal fish. Oh, I see. We have a limit for how much we can carry. So I guess every time we go, we should fill up. Or do we just move more slowly the more that we have? So it's not as efficient. All right, that seems good. Turn the boat. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> yeah, that's got a laugh he's got. His name is Cobra. My, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get this thing. Uh, get space bar back. <laughs> So there's depth, time, caught. Temperature, dive number one. Biggest fish, Mediterranean parrotfish. That's how much money. Ooh, 15 for the fried egg jellyfish. And then the parrotfish was the second highest. So I want to get those fried egg jellyfish. That does look delicious. To fish tank. This must have been, is this the one that we got? Oh, this is the, the seaweed that I grabbed, the cooking ingredients. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Banco. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. How are the preparations coming along, Bonko? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? what? I, I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do was cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. Oh. What? <laughs> Open the ingredients below. Okay. <laughs> here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. <laughs> but now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Uh, okay, I feel like I know nothing right now. <laughs> all right. Now, I'll show you how to register your actual items to the menu. Now, recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier. So try registering that to the menu. Add menu. 
Nora Maki, sushi made with seaweed, vinegar, and wasabi, green tea. Oh, space bar. So we've got uh, clownfish sushi. All right, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes. So try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Add ingredients. Clownfish, we don't have any. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Pyramid Butterfly Fish Sushi. Salame Porgy. Okay. Rainbow Rassi. I'm just adding the ones I have the most of, I guess. Blue Tang. Bronze or higher. So that's when we level up, I suppose. How long are you gonna stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Mm. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Pour the right amount. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Well, I don't know. That was a little high. Customers who drink green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. <laughs> As expected, Baco's green tea is quite something. Mmm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Wait until the cooking is done. Okay, staff research. Come over to where I am and take this food. Okay. You can dash when serving food. Left shift. Oh, we've got stamina, though. Where's the stamina? Oh, right there. Hello. Hello. You sent the package last week. You say, what in the world? Let me check on that. Mm. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. Mm. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Mm. Seems like such a waste to throw it away. <laughs> Michael Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Mm. Well, okay. all right. Everything looks about ready. Hmm. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Richard dishes the menu for the sushi pro. Okay, well, we've already done that, right? Oh, yeah, and then we can sell other... Some of the fish here, it looks like. Okay, let's do this. I'm nervous. What's this? That is. Okay, so should I try? I guess I don't have to actually like take the orders. Say fish. Perfect. Oh god. For dish. Oh, this is kind of stressful, guys. I got you. Man, I'm like really good at pouring. Oh, this must be like ingredients. Or this is like the filling. Okay. 
Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're picking up the pace. Advantage. I guess I can't, eh? We've already used up one, I suppose. Can I, like, can I change it? Swap. Auto supply, enhance, delete. Swap. Oh, okay. Left control, enhance. Good. Oh shit, he's enhancing, baby. That's the wasabi, I guess. Enhance has been completed. I don't even know. Can I enhance? I can enhance this too? Should I be doing this? I'm just going way ahead of the tutorials. Okay. Yeah. Give me my money. We're closed. Closed for the day. Top sales, oh. rainbow, rase, sushi. I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce a lot of this, guys. I'm not a sushi expert. Feel free to correct me. You earned Artisan's Flame. Five. Five stars. We made 52. Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for the first day. Try a little harder next time. I was perfect. perfect Suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, yeah, all, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Banco Sushi. What was that? <laughs> He just opened his mouth a couple times. Oh, Is this part of the regular game or is that part of the dredge stuff? I'm not, I have no idea. I haven't watched this game or anything. I'm totally blind on it. Sunday. Sunday the second. Ellie. Hmm, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I, I think so. <sighs> I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know? In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Hmm, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. Uh, re reward? Well, I, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Red ecological data. Smartphone. Use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current missions, settings. Okay. Locked, locked, locked to do. Repair or Banco Sushi, red ecological data. So we need to get a hundred gold, right? Yeah, agar, starfish, two of each. What's the rewards? Oh, soy sauce and olive oil. 
Okay. We got mail. 10% discount. Number one best diving spot. Thistlegorm. Do you want to be rich? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I should have read that first. Uh-oh. I think we got... I think we got a virus now or something. Oh, nice. Can you change? You can change the music. Okay, I like this one the best. This song reminds me of like old school, like Sierra adventure games. Mini games. Calculator. All right, well, we'll get back to this. I guess I'm probably going to want to go down to get the, that rare stuff. Sharks? <gasps> What's that? Starfish. There's probably going to be a point where we can't... Oh, what's, I want that. Oh, God! Wow. Okay. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Wood. Soy sauce. Okay. Uh, is that using up? I think that's using up my O2. Eh? Friendlier. Probably not if I shoot you, though, right? Oh, well, maybe I have to be closer. I don't think I picked that up. Oh, I need, oh, okay, space part. Running out of air. I didn't do so hot, guys. Okay, okay, space part, space part. Gotta get on that faster. Because I got attacked so much. I can't do that. That was dumb. I don't think that was a very good day. Titan uh, triggerfish, though. Got soy sauce. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Hmm. Uh, well, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Yeah. Mm, I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Yeah. Perhaps something puts them on edge? Yeah. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? Yeah. A gun? Yeah. I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Yeah. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who is a goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Are those bullets? Mm. People who live in glass houses. Mm -hmm. So, what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. <laughs> and now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Oh, season two of Strastella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. Terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. 
Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Oh, that is rather interesting. You piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. Our hypothesis is that anything that's not made from material found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Oh, Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, Let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Okay, so we still have more time. So I guess we put the other stuff away automatically. And now that we now we're diving back in again, it's going to be totally different. Gotcha. Oh. That is wood. I guess we'll take that. Much more of that red. No. Get it. Oh, these things were good. Take that too. Oh, damn. Should take a long time to to grab. Shock bang stick. Oh, okay, okay. Probably want to capture just some regular stuff to you. Eh? Get it? Are those better ones? That's why they're tougher to, uh, Okay, so when we're at critical depths, I think we lose oxygen faster. You're gonna attack me, aren't you? Oh, you too? Get him! Oh yeah! Red lionfish. that rope okay we're, we're getting kind of low here we're at 5.2 kajime This looks similar to what we saw before. Oh, there's O2, oh, there's O2 over there. Should I go for it? Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> kind of got kind of got stuck there, guys. <laughs> uh, and it's nighttime. I can't say I did great. Lower depth, though, we obtained more. Ah, okay. It's wrap up our day. 
So I did find rope. We didn't find scrap iron or the agar. I think we're going to get to 100 gold. And we can time skip if we want to. It shows what we have. Okay. Do we have now? Do we have to time skip to get to the. No, okay. Ingredients. Should we sell stuff? Is th do things go bad? Ingredients owned. There's a lot going on here, man. Enhance. So fried egg jellyfish sushi taste can be enhanced. Commence enhance. Ingredients used for enhancement will disappear. Gotcha. So you can make more money and people will enjoy it more, but it will use tamed fried egg jellyfish sushi. I'm, I'm a little confused. Is it using more fried egg jellyfish to do the enhancement? Let's do it. Let's enhance that. Make that money! Satisfy those customers! Oh, <laughs> we're gonna eat you. Jeez, <laughs> that's a little intense. Did she made with blue tang? Or a three. Oh, I see. It's just it just ends up using more of the basic one, I think. What do we want? Should I be adding all these ingredients? I still have no freaking clue what I'm doing. I'm just selecting stuff. <laughs> but like the blue tang. Fifteen though, with the Titan uh trigger fish sushi. But we can only have one. Okay. I think I remember what I'm doing. Keep our eyes on drinks. Uh-oh, do we only have one of those? Man, I'm good at that. Okay, I gotta get over to this one. It's getting tougher, guys. Might have been a bit too much. Oh, perfect. Take the furthest one. Come on, buddy. Yeah, 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. Really hope the customers keep coming. Did it. Did it. Did it. Staring at them. you 
want? Oh, that? Really? That's what you want? Oh, I see. And there's one that's unlimited. So if we do run out of ingredients, we can um, do California rolls or whatever that is. All right. Another successful session. Best day. Five out of five again. guy are you dead by any chance dr bacon yes what is it sir well i'm always right about these things <laughs> nice to meet you i'm dr bacon i'm an archaeologist who studies the sea people civilization the the sea people civilization <laughs> let's explain it to you aren't you lucky you have an expert like me to tell you about them Maybe I shouldn't have asked. The sea people civilization lives in legends. They are said to have occupied. Oh, they worship fish and gills, allowing them to live underwater. I didn't need space bar. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place! Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down! An ancient civilization under the sea? You can only see such things in comic books or video games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it was from no known civilization. It's dated to around 1,500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Okay, that's interesting, but what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can... <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah. <laughs> what? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. When underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Paco Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Uh, I suppose you have a point. All right, I'll help. <laughs> Isn't that lucky? Oh, of course. I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow! With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. We have another mission. The iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment. Upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere and explore deeper waters. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you. So unlock your phone first. Okay. Run the app. It's a really annoying sound, so I definitely want to do that as quickly as possible. 80 meters. Good! Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use Eye Diver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in the deep waters. I'll be in touch! Chapter one begins and I'm going to wrap up my first episode of Dave the Diver here. Please do subscribe to the channel and like the video if you guys are liking what I'm doing here. I just ask on the first one of a new series. Assuming this becomes a new series, let me know if you want to see more. And if uh, you guys enjoy this, it does well enough. I'm definitely enjoying it. I shall continue. I will see you guys on the next video. If it's not Dave the Diver, something else. And I love you all.